Hello, my name's Bev and I'm the author of the book Please Eat, A Mother's Struggle to Free Her Teenage Son from Anorexia, which describes our family's battle with the deadly eating disorder, anorexia nervosa, which my teenage son Ben developed back in 2009 when he was just 15 years old. We're still in February 2011, um, approximately 12 months after my son Ben began his treatment for eating disorders with, with CAMS, the Child and Adolescent Mental Health Services. And these two posts demonstrate really well how it's a case of a few steps forward and then a few steps back when it comes to recovery from an eating disorder. It's, it's never, never a straightforward line. So the first post is positive and then the second post is a sort of pinging us back a bit, not so positive. So the first post is from the 9th of February 2011, which is called We're Still Beating the Anorexia. Thankfully, Monday's mood was a one-off and Ben did eat all his calories without issue, including the extra hundred per day he needs to consume now. Yesterday, he was back to his normal recovering self. The same today, except for the insomnia, which was improving slightly after his psychiatrist prescribed him some melatonin tablets, but which came back with a vengeance last night. So it will be interesting to see what his weight does on Friday when we go to our weekly CAM session. Yesterday I asked him if he'd been finding it hard to eat the extra 100 calories. No, he said, because it's not like in the days when I'd do anything not to put on weight. Now I know I need to and I don't mind. I don't actually like where I am now physically and want to put some of the weight back on. He did find the lamb's shepherd pie a bit of a challenge because fatty lamb has always been a problem for the anorexia but he managed to eat it in a normal relaxed way following it up with a custard laden pudding. So today he's been doing schoolwork and I've been earning a crust working hard at my PC. Unlike Monday, I wasn't ultra anxious, which meant it was so much easier to work. I am constantly astonished at how I managed to work during Ben's decline into anorexia last winter and spring, although I had to stop over the summer because, because working and threats of suicide and leaving home don't really go very well together. The next post is two days later, Friday the 11th of February 2011. Friday was usually the day which we saw cams. And this post is called, I think I hear demonic laughter. The demon is falling about on his back laughing till he cries. Brilliant, I imagine him chortling. All I had to do at the end of a week where Ben seriously challenged himself almost every day in addition to eating an extra 100 calories a day and munching his way through fish and chips on Saturday, all I had to do to mess it all up was to make sure Ben put on a ton of weight by the end of the week. Bingo! Chortle, 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 etc. Today was our weekly CAMS appointment and it all started very well. In fact, apart from gloomy Monday, this week has felt like a really successful week with the light at the end of the tunnel getting stronger and brighter every day. Ben went into the weighing room in a light-hearted chatty mood, but he emerged from it with a face like thunder. Of course, the CAMS team tried to point out to him over and over again that if he looked at it over the long term, i.e. over the past four weeks, he would see that his weight has averaged out at a, around a quarter of a kilo gain per week. Really, you should be looking at an average weight gain of 
a half a kilo, i.e. double this, they told him. Don't listen to them, shouted the demon inside Ben's head. All those challenge foods have made you fat. And this is the undisputed proof. Look at what the scales are saying. You put on 1.9 kilo this week, you fat, greedy pig. Everyone was wrong. See, I was right all along. And the demon is really great at making Ben totally deaf to the team's response of, but you lost 1.2 kilogram last week. And overall, you're only looking at an average weekly weight gain of around a quarter of a kilo a week. So Cam said, if you were being treated at the inpatient's unit, you would be fed on a very rigid diet every day. They just put the food in front of you and you have to eat it. And if you refuse, you just stay sitting there until you do. Then at the end of the week, if you'd put on a similar amount of weight to the 1.9 kilo you put on today, they would expect you to continue the same rigid diet without any tweaks or changes to it. So in an ideal world, we should be asking the same of you as an outpatient. But sorry, the demon had made Ben totally deaf to that fact too. And when we got home, out came the weights for a punishing exercise session for the second time today. Kaping, I feel as if we've been catapulted back six months or so. But with this horrible illness, it's all too easy to suddenly panic, hold up your hands and think that it's all a total waste of time, so why bother? But it's probably better to take a bit of time out than pick up myself, dust myself down and keep calm and carry on. So watch this space. That's the end of those two blog posts. And you can see how it was a case of we moved forward and then we moved back again. They, they do say these days that when a young person is weighed at CAMS or whichever other team is treating them for their eating disorder, they should be weighed blind. That is to say they are weighed uh, facing away from the dial on the weighing scales so they can't see whether they've gained or lost weight and CAMS or the other, any other eating disorder team don't actually let them know um, because, I mean, I've... We never trialled it that way um, it, it, because it was always a case of Ben knowing whether he'd put on weight or lost weight and it really could hijack the one hour we'd spend with Cam's if he'd put on weight, even if it was just a tiny bit. And if he'd lost weight, then he was in a good mood and the cam session went well. So it was either a case of He's gained weight and we firefight the entire cam session trying to persuade him that that's okay and we usually don't succeed. Or he's lost weight and he's fine and he, he appears to be progressing through the cam session. So that's something to be aware of when your young person is being weighed. You'll find a link below to my blog and you'll also find a link to my website where you can download free PDFs of my blog and also a link to Amazon where you can buy a copy of my book.